Hello viewers, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is the part 2 of the place value concepts in class 2 under the number concepts. In this video, we will be seeing some interesting questions to test the learning outcome. Okay, so how do you read a 3 digit number? Consider this 3 digit number 144. Here, 4 is in the 1's place, another 4 is in the 10's place and 1 is in the 100's place. How do you generally read a 3 digit number? Will you start reading it from the 1's digits first? Or do you start reading it from the 100's digits first? What is the answer? How do you read this number? What is the number name for this? 144. We don't read it as 4, 4 and 1 or any other way. Which is wrong, right? So, we always begin with the hundreds place. What is the correct answer? Yeah, we begin with the hundreds place and then read the tens and the ones digit together. 44. We combine that together and read. So, that is a rule to read a three digit number. Always begin with the hundreds digits and then combine the tens and ones digit together and read them. Let us move on to the next question. You could give blocks like this representing the numbers and ask the children to find out the number and write the number name. So here what do we have? We have 10 tens. So 1 ten this is 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. What does it make? 10 tens make 100. So you have 100 as one digit. The next one is we have three tens. What does it make? 30. And then we have in the ones place 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. We have 9 ones. Can you guess the number? Yes, it is 100, 3 tens 30. And 9, 139. So the number is 139. And how do you write the number name? It is 139 with the hyphen in between. Let us move on to the questions related to place values. There are different ways in which you can give questions in the place value concept. Let us see some interesting examples here. So what is the place value? Of the digit 6 in the number 167. What is the answer? Yes, 6 is in the tens place. So the value is 6 tens or what does it make? 60. So the answer is place value of 6 in 167. 167 is 6 tens or 60. The next way you could give is in the choice format, the place value of 9 in 189 is 9090 or just 9. Which is the correct answer? Yes, here 9 is in the 1's place. So the value of 9 is just 9. So when you give questions in the choice format, it makes the child to think before answering rather than direct questions. Let us move on to the next question. What is the place value of 1 in 1515? In which place it is? Is it in the tens place having a value of 10? Or is it in the ones place having a value of 1? What is the value of 1 in 15? Yes, as number 1 is in the tens place, in 1, 5, 15, the value of 1 is, place value of 1 and 15 is 10. Let us move on to the next question. In the number 178, 178, 1 is in 1's place or 100's place? Which place is 1 in the number 178? What is the correct answer? Yes, it is in the hundreds place. Isn't it interesting to think and answer this way? 
Okay, let us move on to the next question. The place value of 7 in 167. This could be a direct question for the child to answer. There are two ways you can tell it. What is the place value? You can either write it as 7 ones or 7. Next, what is the place value of 0 in the number 10? Does 0 have any place value? No. The number 0 does not have any value in whatever place it is present. So the answer is 0. The concept of 0 is very very important right from class 1. So the number concept 0 is dealt with in a separate video and the link for the same will be provided below in the description box. Now let us move on to the short form and expanded form type of questions. Okay, you could give a three digit number in the short form. What do we have here? One in the hundreds place, nine in the tens place and zero in the ones place. The question could be to write the two types of the expanded form for this number. What is the answer? One way of writing is one hundred plus nine tens plus zero ones. The other way of writing is 100 is 1 0 0 100, 9 tenths is 90 plus 0 ones is 0. So it is 100 plus 90 plus 0. Shall we move on to the next question? We could give some interesting questions like this. Here we have 0 in the hundreds place another 0 in the tens place and a single digit number 8 in the ones place. This is not a three digit number, we all know that. But when it is asked in a question format, it makes the child think. So let us see how to do this. How do you write this? It is 0 hundred plus 0 tens plus 8 ones. Does 0 hundred and 0 tens have any value? No, so the answer is 8 ones. The other way of writing is 0 plus 0 plus 8, which is again a single digit number 8 is the answer. Yet another way of questioning is, give the expanded form 100 plus 0 tens plus 3 ones. We could ask the children to write the short form and also the other type of expanded form. What is the other type of extended form? 100 is 100, 0 tens is 0 and 3 ones is 3. And what is the short form for this? Yes, it is 103. It is nothing but 100, 0 tens and 3 ones. 103 is the answer. This is a quick question for you to answer. What is the number shown in the abacus? Please leave your answers in the comment section. I shall respond to all your comments. And with that, we complete all the topics under the place value concepts. In part 1 of the video, we covered Abacus concepts and building numbers up to 200 with number names. And we also saw some interesting questions for Abacus and also the building numbers with the number names. Now in this video, the part 2 of the video, we saw some interesting questions for the place value concepts and also the expanded form and short form. Link to the part 1 of this place value concept video is provided below in the description box. Dear viewers, all the other concepts given over here will be covered in separate videos and links for the same will be provided below in the description box. Now, if you like the content and quality and you have not subscribed to my channel so far, please click on the subscribe button given here or the one at the end of the bot bottom of the screen. Do not forget to tap on the bell button to receive regular notifications of the updated videos. Now, if you like the content, give a thumbs up and share it with your friends for whom it will be useful. I always welcome comments from you, both positive and negative. It will definitely help us to improve and give you quality content every time. Thank you for subscribing to my channel and watching my videos. See you in the next session. Thank you.